Hi guys, hi, hello, hey guys, okay, I look dry and crusty right now. Hey guys, it's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Y'all, them Krabby Patties don't hit like they used to, but they still hit. Today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video, and that is my tattoo plus piercings tour type of video. People always ask me like what my tattoos mean. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna be doing a face mask because your girl had a wild weekend. It was my birthday weekend. I'm still recovering, you know? Yesterday, I slept all day, saw my boyfriend, and then when I went to my boyfriend's house, I still slept all day basically but anyways on to the bigger picture y'all your girl is rambling a couple of days ago i had got these masks they're like multiple little gel masks and i'm gonna do one today let's just finally get into the video now i'm gonna go from like beginning to end and i'm just gonna explain why when and where like on my body so yeah oh it smells good oh i have to sneeze <laughs> Also, if you want to like see all of them, look at them ever again without having to watch this video, you can go on my Tats highlight. This is a really good mask and a good mask applicator. Anyways, um, you go on my Tats highlight on my Instagram. You can see all my tattoos. So I got my first tattoo on October 7th, 2019. It was actually very, um, what do you call it spontaneous if you know me you know i'm a very spontaneous person as it is if my friends just want to take a trip i will literally call off work and go i always knew that i wanted a lot of tattoos because if you know me you know like i have a whole folder of tattoos going all the way back to 2017 so i remember asking if i could get a tattoo when i was 16 my mom said no i had to wait until i'm 18 i have all my tattoo videos linked down below i'm about to just let this dry for 20 minutes alexa i mean Hmm, I don't know that one. Anyways, hey Siri. Your timer is set for 20 minutes. So that tattoo was this J tattoo. There it is. It's just a J. And the meaning behind the tattoo, which everybody asked me, like they didn't just see the post. When I first got the tattoo, people were like, what does the J stand for? And I'm just like, can you read? Anyways, the J stands for my uncle that passed away. It was an interesting part of my adolescence. And I've never experienced death like closely before, like close in family before. Yeah, I got that. And it's right there on my wrist. I think it's really cute and it's just simple. I definitely want to get something over here on this wrist. I just haven't figured it out yet. Honestly, before filming this video, I didn't know when to film the video because I was like, I don't know when like I'm gonna stop for a minute. I'm honestly like that. There's no stopping point, I guess you can say, until I'm done. Like so. If I wake up tomorrow and I say I want a tattoo, I'm gonna like see if I can get a tattoo tomorrow, you know? I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and film the video now and you know, get it over with. And after this tattoo, my next tattoo was this little heart right here. I actually got this tattoo on March 13th and I remember that so vividly, one, because it was Friday the 13th and two, because it was literally the day before Michigan went on to like, what was it called, like home? arrest i knew i wanted something right here but i didn't know what and i didn't want like a has in my hand or like anything like how people get it where it like starts here and it goes under i didn't really want that and i have small boobs so it's just like it just looks so cute to me i just got the heart the meaning behind that is just i got the heart some of my tattoos have meaning and some of them don't and that was the one that's definitely one that doesn't really have meaning it was just there like my third tattoo i got was the dragon on my side. A lot of people don't notice, but inside it says Dracarys. For the dragon tattoo, I knew I wanted a dragon somewhere, but I knew for one, I didn't want one like off Google. During quarantine, I was scrolling on my TikTok and I saw this guy, like he was doing like a drawing or whatever. And he was like an artist and it was really good. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I DM'd him on Instagram. I was like, oh, I just saw your TikTok. And I was wondering if you wanted to draw a tattoo for me. So at first I was like, it was like so impulsive. I'm really kind of impulsive person. But yeah, like that'd be so cool, whatever. So I sent him like all my references and then he drew it and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Now, Jakar's means dragon fire and if you don't watch Game of Thrones and you don't know, Daenerys Targaryen will always say Jakar is when she wants her dragons to attack. 
I'm not trying to say attack, but like mine just means dragon fire. Besides the wording inside, the dragon in general for me just means like power. So when I think of dragons, I think of power and I think of like powerful women because I feel like a lot of times we associate dragons with like women. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It just symbolizes power to me. I just thought honestly Dracarys inside was just a beautiful touch because you know, Daenerys Targaryen, if you watch the show, powerful. On top of the fact that my tattoo was customized by somebody and like it can never be stolen unless somebody like literally just takes a picture of mine and like send it to somebody else oh my gosh you guys i forgot to rate all the pain scales well i was putting on the screen i know editing me was probably putting on the screen but i'm just gonna start saying it so yeah for this one it was definitely like an eight out of ten that was like my first tattoo and it was also like an artist that i've never been to before like he's just really heavy-handed so that's probably why i hurt so bad besides this one all of my other tattoos have been done by the same guy we're on like a phone number basis at this point for this one it didn't hurt at all it was like a a pinch i definitely rated like a five out of ten just a sensitive area and my dragon one um this was the longest it was like a three hour session that pain was a smooth eight out of ten it was just really tedious that's the thing i'm moving on and next i have this tattoo right here this is a geometric libra scale i'm a libra obviously <laughs> i really wanted something to do with my zodiac sign i love astrology and stuff like that and i didn't want to just get libra on me or i didn't want to just get libra symbol so i really wanted something cool and like you know different and honestly oh my gosh every time i look at this tattoo i think um the little wayne verse that goes like on my libra scale i'm wearing sins and forgive little wayne is my birthday twin um so yeah i really love this tattoo though i think this is one of my more like intricate it's the details for me on a scale of one to ten this honestly was like a four this did not hurt at all you guys and it healed really nicely and again i'll have all my tattoo videos linked down below if you want to watch the experience on to my two most painful tattoos in the world these tattoos are both a 10 out of 10 on pain like literally when i tell you guys these tattoos hurt so bad so these are my finger tattoos obviously as you can see they're fading in some parts but that is not my tattoo artist's fault that is my fault because as you guys can see on this finger the one and the eight aren't fading as much because he was doing it how he was supposed to be doing it and then i literally started like pulling away i was bro i really wish i would have recorded this because i was i was just like oh my gosh this hurts too bad so he just stopped pressing as like hard but, like i don't even care because <laughs> I literally don't think I can ever do that again. But one says blessed because I just love that. Like, I'm blessed, so I just thought I would get it tattooed on me. And the other one says 1982, and that's because that was the year my mom was born. I never will get anybody's name tattooed on me. So I was just like, I'll get her birth year because I always think about it. I do want to try getting a tattoo on, like, the knuckle part of my finger. I, I just want to see if it'll hurt as bad. I'm not sure. Um, I love the tattoos on this hand because I wear like two pieces of jewelry every single day whenever like I go out. And it's usually my matching ring with my best friend. I wear this bracelet my boyfriend got me. And like besides the ponytail order, doesn't this look, uh, it just looks so beautiful. We're coming to an end, you guys. I have two more to show you guys. I have this one and then there's another one on the back of my arm. Um, I literally just got these like i'd say two weeks ago so they're still in their peeling phases not even two weeks ago i don't even think it's been a week honestly after i'm done showing you guys my tattoos i'm gonna give y'all some tattoo like tips and tricks can we get into the detail like who who does it like my tattoo artist i just want to know ignore the peeling ew <laughs> it's just a butterfly because i love butterflies there. i've always loved butterflies honestly like when i was little i used to draw butterflies on everything i've always loved butterflies i literally have butterfly earrings in my ears right now and to me butterflies represent growth and like spread your wings type i know that's so cliche but like it on the back of my arm i have this piece here it's just flowers like growing out of a prison like, this is actually one of the tattoos that i screenshot it like years ago that was just in my phone like, i literally love this piece so much and um i didn't see anybody have it as a tattoo it was just like artwork so i was just like oh my gosh so if this is your artwork then it's on my body <laughs> i don't really love flowers in real life but i love looking at flowers and i love pictures of flowers i don't get when people be like oh my gosh flowers smell so good like i don't know it just smells like nature i'm about to go wash this off and then we're gonna get into my piercings i only have two so don't worry and then i'm gonna give y'all some quick little tips and tricks and then i'm gonna end the video so hold on just in time 
Okay, you guys, I am back. I have a pimple right here. It's coming in. I just tried to pop it. Also, having eyelash extensions is really fun until it's time to wash your face. Until it's time to wash your face. Like, if you're really big on skincare, which, like, I am trying to like avoid a lot of contact with your eyelash extensions, but y'all know I still make it work. Don't worry, you guys. I'm gonna have an updated skincare routine because I literally do one every season. Um, back to the actual video. I only have two like out of the ordinary piercings. That's what I call them. I have an industrial piercing. I've had this since I was 16, so like three years. If I'm being honest. I feel like it's definitely like one of those piercings that you like love, like you fall in love with. I have my Playboy bar linked down below. And I have my belly button pierced. Um, this is what it looks like. It didn't really hurt getting it done. Honestly, you don't really feel it unless you're like watching the person do it. You don't really feel that it's getting done. The healing process, it only hurt for like three days and afterwards you just stop caring. But yeah, I have this linked down below. So the only tips and tricks, tips and tricks I have is, so in the beginning of getting tattoos, it's okay to be nervous, but don't go into every tattoo being nervous. Honestly, Honestly, after the first three tattoos I got, the feeling of being nervous to for a tattoo just went away. I just recommend don't think about the pain of the tattoo. Like, don't really stress about the pain. Don't overthink the pain. Because if you think about the pain, you're going to think about everything else. You're just going to stress yourself out. And I feel like it hurts more because you're not relaxed. Um, that's also a thing. Be really relaxed. Don't go in there tense because it's going to hurt more. Just relax and make sure you're comfortable with the person you're getting tattooed with. I'm really comfortable with my tattoo artist. So, like, we just talk about everything. And it's just, like, you know, smooth sailing. For the first, like, three weeks, maybe even two, depending on the person, always keep your tattoo moisturized. I mean, you're going to do that anyway when you put lotion on your body afterwards but like in the beginning you need to really be focused on your tattoo so when you're washing it i recommend um any like bar soap but don't rub the bar on there just like get it rub it on there or dub when you rinse rinse it like really quickly don't use like i like piping hot water when i take a shower but like obviously when i get tattoos i just don't take showers with piping hot water because like i don't want to like instinctively put my fresh tattoo in that and it's gonna burn when you're moisturizing the first couple of days before it starts peeling now this is a big big tip well first of all you only should be using aquaphor products in general when your tattoo is healing but for the first couple of days before it starts peeling use the you can use the aquaphor spray it just sprays as like a foamy as like a foam and then you like rub it in and it's like a jelly like lotion when i tell you guys it literally feels so good and then once your tattoo starts peeling do not use this anymore um i don't think anything bad happens but like for me i feel like it was like slowing down the peeling process you want to go ahead and switch over to the regular like aquaphor lotion it, this lotion it just looks like this I got this little one because a little goes a long way that's why I never will buy like a big huge bottle of any of these no matter how many tattoos I get you don't want to ever soak tattoos in lotion because it can slow down the healing process so literally if you spray it just do a little tiny spray and rub it in and when you do the lotion just do a little little tiny scoop and obviously just don't sleep on them for like weirder tattoos it's kind of hard to sleep on like this one I can't sleep on my side for a long time and for these I have to like sleep with my arm out but now I don't really you know it's not really that bad who that was a lot of talking but other than that that's really all like the details I got I think this video was done <laughs> okay you guys so that was it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want more like tattoo content um just binge watch all of my youtube videos and go shop my clothing brand so i can have money to buy more tattoos <laughs> if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet please do so and help me out i don't think i'm gonna hit 100k this year but it's worth a try so go follow all my social media and go check out the links in my bio shop my clothing brand and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye